During the coronavirus quarantine, the cable companies won't go into your house, but they will send out an install kit. So I'm upgrading from Spectrum to Frontier, really just trying to save money. Spectrum wants $75 plus a bunch of fees for internet connection. That's the same speed as this one, which is going to be out the door total $45 a month. So let's see how it all installs. I give you a box full of wires and routers and things. Here's how it all goes together. Here's what it looks like outside the house. So in my case, I've already had Fios before. So I have this box outside of the house and I just open it up and then hook up the coax cable to it and follow the instructions, which say the coax cable on your house goes to a splitter. The splitter goes two ways, goes into an adapter that translates the coax into an ethernet signal, puts it into your router, and then the other end of the splitter goes into a coax cable hole in the new router. So I've set it up outside the house before I set it up inside the house. And the reason being is that I have internet coming into the house through a coax cable already, and I still need to use it until this is working for sure. So we've got the coax cable comes from the box, goes to a splitter, splits it two ways. One way goes into this converter deal. It's got a USB power coming from the router, and it's got an ethernet cable that goes into the back of the router, which has all of these spots on it. And then the other end of the splitter goes to a coax joint on the cable line connection on the router. Not sure if I need that or not, or that's only if I also have TV with these people. So that's the setup. It's kind of ugly here outside of the house, but we'll get it set up on the inside of the house. Uh, the problem I'm having is this fail light is flashing and it won't stop flashing and the upload speed is really slow. So I called Frontier and they're going to have a guy come out and put a new box in. So if you don't have a box or you need a box installed and you still wanna do self-install, you can do it. During quarantine, they won't come into your house, but they will install a box on the outside of your house. So you basically, you have them install it. And then if you've already got cable coming in, which I do, I'm just gonna plug that coax cable into the box the coax cable that's already hooked up to my Spectrum ripoff internet inside the house. And then when I get inside the house, that cable plugs into this splitter. I plug this into the wall and all this stuff just works. I just want to test it out in the yard before I disconnect my current service because I have to work from home and I'd be in real trouble if I didn't have any internet at all. So it's hooked up and now it's working fast. I had to have the guy come out. He looked at it. He went back to some hub nearby in his van and changed something. And now we're getting a legit 50-50 up and down, which you can see here on this test. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. So the, the we were getting decent download speed in the 20s before, now it's 57. And the upload was where it was really hurting. So upload speed after the guy wiggled the wires. Ooh, it's gonna get close to 50-50. So buying 50-50 and I'm getting 50-50. Now this is $29.99 a month is how they advertise it, but with all the fees and the, the $10 a month modem fee, it ends up being $45 a month, which is still a good deal for legit 50-50 Fios fiber optic connection. So I'll take it.